So look, the graduate uh, certificate in in biofabrication it's a it's a, an online course and uh, it actually starts up again uh, this July 2020, and you can go to that link there, um, and that'll send you to the the course finder, the UOW site where you can get all the information uh, on the course and apply for it. And so we also have this uh, masters there. You can see that with the link. Um, that's a, a course that just that involves a research project, the thesis, and, um, but I'm not really going to talk about that today. So really the purpose is to give you information about this graduate certificate in biofabrication. So it has two um, subjects and each one runs for about 13 weeks. Uh, they're delivered online via the Moodle platform. Um, and the first, the subjects are there in bold. The first one is the AIM 900, it's Introduction to Biofabrication, and that runs in the spring session. And, and the second one is Practical Learning and Training in Biofab Biofabrication, and that runs in the autumn session. So as I mentioned, um, the next intake is uh, July 27th, starting with that first subject, uh, and the link to the course finder there. Uh, look, the information there, you can get things like the course outline, the fees, uh, and again, the, the um, application can be submitted. Uh, the way in which uh, this course was developed was um, quite unique, actually. And it was put together by the researchers uh, in our institute um, who work on um, biofabrication, and it was done in collaboration with the UOW uh, education faculty. And uh, the content was uh, structured uh, in a way where it was presented as case studies um, on the research and, and programs that are being undertaken um, within ACES and within our institute. Um, and many of them, um, uh, many of those projects are directed by the uh, clinicians and surgeons. And again, the graduate certificate, it's, it's, it's online and coursework only, but with that, uh, you can use it as a, a pathway to our masters uh, in biofab. And again, that's where, you know, if someone's interested in going on and doing a, a research project and working in the labs, um, they can um, go on and apply for that degree. One other point on the masters is that we do have this option for a double degree um, where we've partnered um, with a couple of overseas universities and you can spend time over there doing a project and then you can be awarded a degree from UOW and one of our partner universities. Here's a look at the, uh, the Moodle platform or dashboard. If you were going to get, log in and, and uh, start one of the subjects um, and really, I don't know who's, if you've had anyone here's had experience with Moodle or done a subject in Moodle. Um, it's, it's a very nice and easy setup. And so, Within here, we can see some of the main sections and uh, we'll have a look at the learning journey, but that's set up um, as a series of book chapters um, and they cover the main topics of the subject. And then you can click into those chapters, get a table of contents and, and then work through all the different sections within that chapter. And so I've got them up here for the two subjects, the AIM 900 first. And, and so you can see here, all the different chapters uh, within the learning journey for this subject. Um, and I've highlighted uh, here uh, this particular one. And that's because, um, again, uh, the subjects are presented through these case studies uh, and really relate to projects uh, that are under, uh, uh, being undertaken. Um, and in here, this is uh, the project that's being done on cartilage repair for the knee. And it looks into the development of the bio pen, which is a handheld printer that uh, is used in that application. Um, so we have these case uh, studies, but also, you know, you can see some of these other topics. If you have a look down there, you know, we also cover, you know, some of the main principles of biofabrication, like the hardware, the printers, the materials and the bio inks, and also the biological aspects like the printing um, of the cells. But I think the really nice thing here is that, um, we can get the students to reflect on that back to these uh, real um, applications and case studies. The other um, thing that we've done is we've attached two themes to both, we've attached a, a theme to 
um, these subjects. And in this case for AIM 900, there's also this theme on ethics and regulatory considerations. And so uh, throughout that uh, subject, there's various content and activities that students have to do. And, you know, we think that these themes are, uh, then the other one, it's collaboration, you'll see in a minute. Um, and these two themes, um, you know, outside of this normal content, we feel are, are uh, important um, in this, uh, you know, in this uh, area. So 901, um, you can see here, if you want to, if you have a look through, this actually um, comprises um, some more of the case studies really representing um, the projects that are underway. And it'd be remiss of me if I didn't put a big yellow highlight here um, around the ear, um, which features prominently in this subject. And, and so again, uh, our attached theme uh, is around building collaborations and, and working as teams uh, and the need to work as teams within biofabrication research. Um, and I, yeah, I, I think that, I mean, this is really just a, a brief overview, but, um, you know, I think the way in which it's been put together by researchers and the education faculty and presented through these uh, case studies, I think the, the subject content, you know, really is, um, you know, represents latest advances in biofabrication and uh, we feel really provides a really nice um, learning experience for the students. And so I'm going to finish off with my last, uh, with a slide here, again, um, focusing on the ear. So there's a, a number of assessment activities, uh, assessments and various other non-assessed activities. There's a couple of main ones, and this relates to one of those main ones uh, where the students start to learn about um, extracting 3D models from medical images. And in the, you can see down there on the right, we vote, we would have gone into the, the book chapter on the year and there's a whole, you can see all the content and table of contents within there. And as part of that, there's a section on um, uh, model, using uh, modeling software and extracting these models uh, from uh, images. And in this case, uh, the year is used as a, a bit of a, a test run for the students um, where, they, we, where they learn how to use the different types of software um, and then once they've completed the year, the next uh, uh, chapter is around, uh, is an assessed activity, uh, looking at doing similar types of processes um, using software and images around a mandible jaw. And so this is a really nice, uh, the year provides a really nice uh, introduction to this um, activity. Right, so that's pretty, that's really all I've got. Um, but I forgot to put one last slide up there. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing for a moment, but then I'll, I want to put something else up a little bit more time. Where are we here? So this is really the acknowledgements I'd have to say. Um, it's like the rolling credits literally, because I'm going to have to scroll down. And you can see who's, who we've got to acknowledge. So, um, but this is really the teaching team. Um, these are the people that are involved. These are the people that put it together. Um, and even they log on to Moodle and, and help out uh, during the course. So we've got Gordon, myself, there we go. So Steve, so this is what you would, the students would see when they clicked onto the teaching team. They can directly get their emails and, and contact them. Uh, Zhao, uh, Johnson, Ali, and Jer Jerome's not with us anymore. Uh, Jeremy, Eva, Kalani. And I can't forget, <laughs> there we go. Oh, hang on. Where are we here? Oh, maybe this one. Yes. And these two fellas, Sanjeev and Sepada, who, who spoke today already. So thanks to um, everyone involved in, in, in putting that course together. And, and this is the, I think that's, uh, if anyone has anything, any questions or, you know, um, I'm, I'm very happy to, to answer. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Uh, has anybody got any questions or comments for Michael on that educational and training side? Uh, we we're obviously keen to, to, to continue to improve those aspects and continue to develop uh, collaboratively aspects of these training courses with AMTZ as well. And as I said at the start, we'll be running a, a shortened version uh, over 10 weeks, three hours a, a week uh, to get a just a local certificate in, in biofabrication. Um, 
I could maybe just uh, one from me. Can you just comment on how the researchers get engaged when the course is actually running? Uh, yeah, we have a subject outline and in that um, the students get ac access to a weekly schedule. Uh, within that schedule, uh, you know, kind of lists the, the main chapters um, during that period of time. Um, and then we, we then add in the contact details of the different people involved, the researchers that are involved, and they then can go on and um, contact those, uh, the researchers and the teaching team. And, and you can, yeah, and, it, and the research, the teaching team also um, log into Moodle and can also, you know, introduce themselves um, and, and answer any questions the students have in the forums in Moodle. Yeah, brilliant. And uh, I, I noticed Kai's got a comment there on the chat. We should follow up on that. Kai, always looking to introduce new aspects, and that's uh, uh, around an educational video to teach users how to do the 3D scanning. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something we've got in there at the moment, but we'll, we'll share that up with you, Kai. All right, well, thanks again, Michael.